Did you know that the world's fastest swimmers can cover 100 meters in under 50 seconds? That's faster than most people can run. What if I told you that mastering the freestyle stroke could help you achieve similar results? Intrigued? Let's dive in. Welcome back to our channel, where we unlock the secrets of swimming faster and more efficiently. In this video, we're going to delve into the science behind the freestyle stroke. We'll show you how small adjustments can significantly improve your swimming speed. So, whether you're a competitive swimmer or just looking to improve your lap times, this video is for you. Many beginners and experienced swimmers struggle with efficiency and speed in their freestyle stroke. They often feel stuck, unable to improve despite hours of practice. Today, we're going to identify the common mistakes that could be holding you back. We'll explore key elements of the freestyle stroke, including body position, breathing techniques, and arm movements. We'll break down how each contributes to your overall speed in the water and how you can optimize them for maximum efficiency. Freestyle swimming, also known as the front crawl, is a complex stroke that requires attention to detail for optimal performance. Here are some of the most common mistakes swimmers make, along with tips on how to correct them. One of the most frequent errors is looking forward while swimming. This instinct can cause your hips to drop, leading to increased drag and inefficiency. Instead, focus on looking down at the black line on the pool bottom, which helps maintain a streamlined position and keeps your hips elevated. Many swimmers unintentionally cross their arms over the midline of their body during the arm entry phase. This can lead to shoulder injuries and decreased efficiency. To correct this, aim to enter the water with your hand in line with your shoulder or slightly wider. Then rotate to have one wet shoulder and one dry shoulder. This means having one shoulder in the water and one shoulder out of the water. Swimmers often kick too hard or too high, creating unnecessary resistance. Instead, aim for small, quick kicks that are timed with your arm strokes. This will help you maintain momentum without exhausting yourself. For sprints, you are looking for a 6-beat kick, while for distance, you are looking for a 2-beat kick. Breathing at the wrong time can disrupt your stroke. Many beginners lift their heads too high to breathe, which can lead to swallowing water and poor body alignment. Practice side breathing to keep your head low and maintain a streamlined position. One great way to remember this is one wet eye and one dry eye. Again, that's one eye in the water and one eye out of the water. Another common issue is kicking with bent knees. This not only reduces propulsion but also increases drag. Focus on keeping your legs straight and kicking from the hips, ensuring your feet remain just below the water surface. Swimmers sometimes fail to effectively engage their core and back muscles during the pull phase. To maximize efficiency, ensure that your hand enters the water with your fingertips first and that you pull through the water with a high elbow position. Get ready for the turning point. We're going to reveal the one crucial technique that can instantly boost your speed. This isn't just theory we've got expert insights and real-life examples from top swimmers to back it up. Timing between arm strokes and kicks is crucial. Many swimmers kick too early or too late, disrupting the rhythm of the stroke. Practice drills emphasizing coordination between your arms and legs to improve overall stroke efficiency. By understanding and applying these techniques, you can enhance your freestyle stroke and swim faster than ever before. Remember, small changes lead to big results. So, don't be afraid to experiment and tweak your stroke, the results may surprise you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more swimming tips. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these techniques, so drop us a comment below. And remember, the pool is your canvas, so make every stroke count.